What were you thinking? Have you any idea what's been going on around here? Yes, I know, of course. That's why I'm here. Just listen to me for a moment, please. I had to go. I couldn't stay here anymore. I take full responsibility. I always wanted the best for St. Ursula's, believe me. A few years ago, I was appointed chief physician, but not without help. Roman Heydrich had already held a lot of influence over the hospital, even back then. He offered me the position of chief physician as a part of restructuring. At the time, I thought it was the best way for me to actively help the hospital. I was still too young. I hadn't even earned the position. But I went along with it, and Roman supplanted my predecessor for me. We had big plans. Everything was great at first. But Roman put more and more pressure on me. He had interest of his own. He didn't even try to hide him from me. He kept coming to me with strange ideas. He wanted to take more and more money out of the hospital. When I refused, he started black. I had to sign bills, purchase orders, and other documents for him. Otherwise, he would blow the cover on our agreement. And as chief physician, I would have taken the fall for everything. That's why I went along with it. For the good of the hospital. However, as we drew more and more public attention, Roman got cold feet. He took off and advised me to do the same. Sooner or later, his scam would be uncovered. And well, here we are. But I couldn't leave the hospital in such a time of need. I will take responsibility for what I've done. I'm so sorry about everything. I never should have. <laughs> Pull yourself together. Look at yourself. I'm furious. I'd never thought you were capable of such a thing. If you really care about us and St. Ursula's, then get a move on and help the staff. Now! We don't have time for all this whining. But, uh... Ooh. Ooh. Dr. Kukowski, what's going on here? Finley, what are you doing here? I thought you were on the fifth floor. No matter, the power's gone out. Maybe we overloaded the grid. The hospital's running on emergency power. Look at him, he is whacked out. I'll speak to Gregor. We'll get this under control as quickly as possible. And I'll make sure the wards can continue working. Finley, please go to our ward. Check on Mia and the others. What about Carl? Carl is extremely experienced. He'll be fine without you for a few minutes. I'll be there in a minute. Got it. She slapped him like three times. I'm actually like in a state of shock. Like Roman Heydrich was, he was the guy. Oh, sorry, I just walked past my ward. He was the guy that we met at the start, right? The one that was trying to buy off Mr. Anders to make sure he doesn't sue us. So he got cold feet and he picked up and ran. Hey, Mia, so about this power outage, huh? Mia, the power, well, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> yes, I can see that. Or rather, I can't see a great deal of anything right now. Are you all right here? Do you need a hand? We'll muddle through. Sandra's got the ward under control. Where's Dr. Krakowski? She's checking all the wards have everything they need. Dr. Theopold's taking care of the power failure. Dr. Theopold, did I hear that right? Yes, he's back. I just ran into him while he was explaining himself to Dr. Kukowski. He was... <gasps> What's wrong? Can you smell that, Mia? What do you mean? What the... It smells like smoke. What did you do? The fifth floor! It's on fire! What? We just got the ward up and running. Everything was going great. And then there was this huge pang. Sparks went flying everywhere, and all the old junk was caught up on fire. We have to get out of here now. Where's Carl? He's still upstairs. We're trying to get everyone out of there. Mia, I'm going upstairs. I have to check on Carl. Should I come with you? You stay here. Make sure the ward's evacuated properly. I... Okay, I can do this. Renee, could you help Mia, please? Sure thing. See you in a minute. Oh my god. Carl? King Carl? I'm not losing you. You're the most goaded character here. I'm not losing you. I'll be damned if I lose you, Carl. It's not happening. It is not happening. No, because I'll actually bawl like a little baby if anything happens to Carl. Yeah, great. This is going to be great for hospital press. Carl, are you there? Oh, over here, quick, we need help. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Holy shit. This bed's stuck. Help me move it. Okay, 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 okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. Let's push it together. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. You are way too small for that bed, little man. That's okay. That's okay. You know, we, we can worry about that later. That's all good. Let's just, you know, get out of this flaming inferno first. 
could be good. Could be a good idea, I think. What the hell's going on? What is going on? I almost ended very badly. Thanks, Finley. What are you going to do now? We need to put out the fire. First, we have to get everyone out of here. There's a plan for things like this. We evacuate everyone to the school gym hall. Then we stay there until the fire's been put out. We contact the other hospitals in the area and get people out to them as soon as possible. Until then, we keep going. So get everyone out. Get everyone out! We can't use the elevators, so we'll need to carry people downstairs. Benjamin and I can man the stairs. You go to the bottom of the stairs and take the beds as we pass them down. Dimmy and Archie will be waiting at the front entrance. Take the beds to the front of the building. What about the other wards? They'll all be doing the same thing. Do you think Dr. Kukowski and me will be our- Finley! Not at all! Yes, we'll help them in a minute. Thank goodness we hadn't filled this ward up to capacity yet. Okay. Come on! There's no time to lose! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Save the million- Jesus Christ, Finley. I, I do not have time to talk to you right now. Okay, we're gonna head right down to the bottom. Hey, Mia, baby. We'll talk to you right now. Not really a good time to talk, though. Okay, here we go. This is- You. Ooh, I've got things I want to say to you, but I'm not gonna say anything. Here we go. What the hell? What the hell? I get the hospital is on fire. I get that this probably looks bad, but like these doctors right now, risking their lives. Risking their lives. Oh shit. Come on, Finley. Let's keep breathing and breathing and breathing. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, I'm gonna aim to get the furthest people out first. You're next. I'm gonna try and make the trip shorter and shorter each time. Come on, Finley, baby. Look at you. Look at you, covered in suit and ash, my little firefighting hero. You got this. God, why does every game I play do this? I can't win, okay? Every horror game I play has either a sewer sequence or an underground laboratory. Every cozy game I play, something goes on fire. Why? I, it's not very cozy of them. That does not look good. You know what? It's fine. It's, it's probably fine. Okay, okay. I'm going to assume that no one else is back here. Oh, shit. Am I about to lose my life? Nah. Right? Where's everyone else? I saw everyone else making a run for it. Come on, Finley. No more. No more. I, I get these people are like really sick, but like adrenaline? I've seen people pick up whole cars. Or I've, I've heard people pick up whole cars, okay? And you're telling me none of them have the adrenaline to save themselves? Okay, one more. One more, one more, one more, one more. What's Finley, babe? Oh my god, you are all running! Go, 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 go. Go, Finley, you're a hero. You're... They all ran past this one. They all ran... No one helped. Where's Carl? I have not seen Carl yet. Finley, you're still here. You need to leave. Take the next transport to the gym. The rest of the staff are already on their way. I'm sure your services will be needed there. Don't you think I should do another check of the hospital? We might have missed some people. I've been through a lot of wards. I'll do one last round on the ground floor and then I'll be right behind you. I'll come with you. You've done well. Better than I could have done. I'll be alright. I'll just hold my stethoscope tight. Go now, Finley. And thank you. Do I make a rotisserie chicken joke here? <laughs> I have a feeling that we're not going to see him again. Oh, Finley, babe. Oh, Finley, darling. Oh, you are being put through the ringer right now. Oh my god. Come on, get in here. The others need you. Okay, let's go. This is Christ. Oh, uh, hey. Ah, Finley, there you are. We need all the help we can get right now. Come on, take care of the sick as best you can. I'll assign teams and then I'll help out as well. Okay, done. Alright, here we go, here we go. We're just gonna help, we're gonna help out the- Oh, shit. We gotta be quick about this. We're gonna have to be so quick right now. Luckily, it should just be like wounds and like these more motor skill activities. I don't think we're gonna be prescribing any medications right now. At least, I hope not, because that would be dumb as hell. Come on, come on. We got you, I got you, babe. I got you, babe. Oh, shit. Let's make it ten times more stressful, right? There we go. We got you. I got you, babe. Okay. Okay, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Keep running. Look at them. They were, we're all running like madmen. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I got you. I got you. I got you. No! Okay, you know what? On the upside, at least I'm going to get really good at this. 
Okay. Sorry, I get really quiet during this one because like this one actually requires like all of my focus. Keep running, keep running, Finley. Keep those legs up and run. Leave it. Dr. Krakowski, I'm glad you're here. This patient's very sick. I... She's beyond your help now. But... Can't you see? The woman's already dying. What the... But I can... You can help me. I need you up front urgently. Please come with me quickly. Shit. Holy shit. Oh, Finley, babe. Oh, Finley, babe. Oh, hon. Oh, you've had a real rough time of it. Oh my god. Please tell me there's a happy ending. Oh, hey guys. Dr. Theobald? What happened to Dr. Theobald? What happened to Ralph? Is Ralph okay? I haven't seen him once since the protest. Wow. I mean... I... I was hoping for a happier ending, but I guess that's just the reality, isn't it? There is no happy endings. <gasps> oh, he got arrested! Pina. So this is basically our epilogue. Aww. That made me so sad. She was beautiful. <gasps> is that Dr. Theobald? I was the last piece of person to see him alive. I mean, I guess he made up for it in the end. Wow. And that's it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so... Let's talk about it a little bit, shall we? So for those of you who don't know, a lot of the plot and storyline in this game are actually based off of real stories. Obviously, it's a mixture of real stories. Um, but in saying that, I also don't want to completely dismiss the fact that nobody's ever been through Finley what Finley's been through because there's a lot of people in this world and a lot of hospitals in this world. So the, the chances are out there. A lot of what you saw in this game is based off tellings from nurses doctors they actually interviewed real people and they had like this whole survey as well and look healthcare workers like they go through the ringer for us they they go to a thankless job where they deal with people who are obviously very emotional and very angry and frustrated or sad um and it's a very thankless job it's a very tiring job and they do it all while risking their health so if you have a healthcare worker in your life, if you know a healthcare worker, tell them that you appreciate them, tell them you appreciate what you do. Next time you go to your doctor, thank them again, tell them that you appreciate what they do uh, because without them, we would be screwed. We'd probably still be in the days of living until we're 30 <laughs> and dying after that. So that being said though, that does bring me to a very important piece of business. For those of you who are unaware, throughout this entire series, I have been raising money for the Starlight Children's Foundation and I have been promising every episode 
that at the end of the series, I will unveil the final dollar amount. Now, at the time of this recording, that campaign is still ongoing. I think I'm only like a couple videos in because I record a lot of this in advance. So whilst I, at this moment, don't know the final dollar amount, you guys are about to find out in three, two, one. Thank you to everyone who donated. I really appreciate it. I'm going to pop everybody, all the donations up on this screen here. Um, so thank you to everybody who contributed, everyone who donated. As soon as I wrap up this series, I'll be making sure all of that money goes to the Starlight Children's Foundation. At the time of recording this, we have had a couple donations already, which has just been absolutely mind-blowing. I'm super happy to see that people are out there and they are wanting to donate to a good cause and i definitely it definitely makes me want to do it again i definitely want to try and do maybe at least one charity event a year i think that would be nice with that being said though if you like today's video please be sure to like and subscribe it really helps me out and it lets me know you guys like the content so it's a win-win situation if you want to see my entire fall of porcupine series please be sure to check out the description down below down there, you'll find a link to a playlist that has all of my Fall of Porcupine videos. And down there as well, you'll find links to a bunch of my socials. I try to be as active as possible across all of them, but I do personally recommend my Instagram and Discord as they do get the most amount of love from moi. But with that being said, as always, Ms. Mac loves you. And I will see you all again next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much to this month's top patrons. Maya's so cool. Kiki K, Tali, It's Halsey, and Zach.